BRT family, and behind that is a Scimitar one. And they would have, we've got a couple of American M3 half tracks which uh, had an interesting life. They were used, they were first designed, used as a YDC, uh, an international harvester version there. One of the family of half track vehicles the Americans made in the Second World War. And we've also got driving around the museum since it's been developed out in Australia. And uh, it was a missile system that uh, took 56 so they parachuted separately of their T-54 tank in China and a factory was set up, early part was set up, a bit later on with the spit fire. They took that and they took it great. And they put it in the tank. They all went to the factory tank attack, all into one. A tank that will take on any tanks, well protected, that can also support it. And uh, the tanks coming on in the front of the Shermans, we've got, first of all, they're an M5 Stuart tank, followed by an M3, an earlier version of the tank. Again, these all yeah. display, and the American war plan was this war plan, these all display, and in 1939, had only made about 380 tanks in its own country. By the end of the war, they made over 68,000 vehicles. That is an amazing quick ramping up of the car to the T734. He one of these vehicles at great distance. And it's a process from being on any aircraft just before D-Day, the invasion strikes. And the key thing was it was done very quickly, just so, in case we ended up shooting. Dogged pursuit to Rommel's forces through Libya. 